Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this really interesting and modern typography text animation. You can use this technique in a number of different ways like creating your promos, intros, slideshows and without wasting any more time, let's begin! Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create the final composition, hit Ctrl plus N or hit on this little icon, this is gonna be final. For the width and height, let's do uh, full HD, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration, mine is 10 seconds long. Hit OK and now let's create another two composition, hit Ctrl plus N again, this is gonna be text 01, for the width, let's type 900 and for the height 100, also 30 frames per second, 10 seconds long, hit OK. And let's create our third composition. This is gonna be text 01 plus elements and for the width and height 900 by 200. Hit OK and let's create our text layer here in the text 01, hit Ctrl plus T. For the font I'm using Montserrat Black, for the font size 80 pixels. And now let's just type our text, I will type Let's be creative, of course you will type your own text, align it to the center, okay, if you can't find the line option just go window and you will find a line option here. Also now let's import our text 01 here in the text 01 plus elements, just drag and drop like so this composition and now go here again in the align option and align this text to the bottom like so now let's create background for the our text go right click to create background to create solid layer this is gonna be also 900 by 100 for the name i will type bg hit ok and also hit on this background move it below this text 01 and also just go here align to the bottom now go here in the facts and preset find fill effect okay drag and drop onto the background and here basically you can play around with the colors, of course you can find your own color and if you have hexa code just hit Ctrl plus V, you can also type numbers here, mine is this one, you can also play around a bit more and then when you're satisfied with the color just hit OK. Now also let's hit on this text 01, go again find fill effect and let's change color to pure black color, like so. Now hit BG and text 01 and then hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Move this background and this text 01 above this first text and background. You can also change color for easy recognition like so. Hit on this background, align it to the top, go here on this uh, option in the align paragraph and also for the text 01 do the same and this is looking cool to me. Now let's change colors for the fill uh, background, let's change this one to black color and for the text 01, upper text 01, let's change color to white. Hit OK and now as you can see this is looking really cool and really awesome. Now hit this text plus elements and just drag and drop here in the final composition and now it's time to add a more effect here on our composition. Hit here again, go in the facts and preset, find motion tile effect, drag and drop onto the composition and here basically you can play around with the options, output width and output height, for the output width I will type to around 300 and for the output height maybe to go around 900, something like this. Ok, you can also turn on 3D option for this text 01 plus elements, if you can find this 3D option just hit here on toggle switches and modes and enable this 3D option for this text 01 plus elements composition okay hit r for rotation and here you can play around with the x y and z rotation for the x rotation play around i will do maybe around minus 25 of course you can type your own number for the z rotation let's try minus 15 like so and also if you want you can play around with the y rotation and if you find the gap here just hit f3 again to find motion tile effect and just expand output height to see all of our composition covered with our let's be creative text. Okay, I will do zero for Y rotation. 
okay this is looking cool to me and our next effect that we're going to use is gonna be bulge effect go here in the facts and presets just drag and drop onto our composition and here let's play around with the horizontal and vertical radius for the first option i will type 1000 like so and for the second option let's go to around 600 and this is looking cool to me also you can play around with the bulge center according your needs something like this play around until you're satisfied with the option and for the bulge height i will do maybe 1.2 and this is looking really cool and really creative okay our next step is to uh, animate this tile center set up our first keyframe on the zero frames for the tile center and then go to around 10 seconds and let's type here 670 or 700 and now when we hit zero as you can see we have this cool let's be creative animation here in our final scene okay now let's create first adjustment layer here in the scene go right click to create new adjustment layer this is gonna be spotlight okay go here in the facts and preset and find cc spotlight effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here also let's make a few adjustments for the height let's type 100 also edge softness 100 for the intensity type 50 cone angle to around 15 and this first option from go to around here upper left corner and now as you can see we have this cool looking scene in the final composition okay now let's create another adjustment layer go here right click to create adjustment layer this is going to be noise hls okay now go here in the facts and preset again find noise hls drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and let's type 2 for hue lightness and saturation okay now select everything go right click to pre-compose this is gonna be part 01 make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit ok now let's duplicate this part 01 hit ctrl plus d or go edit and then duplicate hit r for rotation type here 180 okay and now select this uh, first part of one hit g or go and find this uh, pen tool to create a mask and now let's create random mask here in the final scene okay something like this and now as you can see we have this cool looking animation when we hit zero here in our finals hit m for our mask and in every moment you can readjust the points according your needs okay our next step is to create another adjustment layer go right click to create another adjustment layer this is gonna be turbulent displace okay go here again in the facts and preset find turbulent displace drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and here basically you can play around with the options for the displacement you can find bulge twist whatever fits on you I will do maybe twist and for the amount let's do maybe around 20 or so and now when we hit zero as you can see our animation is looking awesome you can also animate evolution if you want hold alt on your keyboard and then left click and type here expression time asterisk maybe 100 let's see our result and when you hit zero this is looking awesome and this is looking really modern and creative okay for the last step what we can do is to pre-compose everything again grab everything go right click pre-compose this is gonna be scene for the name you can of course type your own names hit ok and then let's duplicate this one once again hit ctrl plus d go here in the facts and preset find shift channels effect drag and drop onto the first scene composition and here let's uh, make a few adjustments for the green option go full off also for the blue go full off and take red from red this is gonna be cool and also for the blending modes instead of normal find here screen option hit s for scaling go 102 and for the opacity hit t i will do to around 20 percent and now as you can see we have this subtle screen blending mode of our scene here in our finals now when we hit zero this is looking awesome this is looking cool and creative and modern 
All right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. Hope you learned something new and enjoyed this tutorial. If you found this one helpful, please hit that like button. Also, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. You can use this uh, cool technique in your own projects, intros, promos, slideshows, and so many more. Also, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's hit together that 1000 subscribers. Also, take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials. All the links are in the description. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.